Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is attorney Matt Wayman here today to chat with you about police investigations. The first thing that generally happens during the course of a police investigation is that a 911 call is made. Police will respond to a scene and interview any witnesses, collect any evidence, and interview any suspects that might still be at the scene. They will then take all this evidence, go back to the station, and then prepare a report. They will give this report to a detective who will complete the investigation. That detective will go interview any witnesses that might have left the scene, go collect any supplemental evidence like surveillance footage or anything like that, and also interview any suspects that might not have been at the scene when the police were there initially. The last thing that police do during the course of their investigation is that they will interview any suspect or suspects. This is because they want to have all of their information in line before they interview those people. It is at that point that the suspect or suspects are going to have a choice whether or not they should make any statement to police. And it is always in their best interest not to make a statement to police because anything they say will be used against them later. It will not be used to help them. It will simply be used to hurt them. After the suspect either makes a statement or rightly chooses not to make a statement, the detective will then take all of that evidence to a prosecutor who makes the charging decision. Police do not charge cases. It is the prosecutor that will choose to charge a case. They will take all of that evidence that is presented to them by the detective. They will then compare that to the criminal statutes and they will decide if they think that they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that that person committed a crime. And if they do think that they can prove that beyond a reasonable doubt, they will charge a case by complaint or indictment. They will prepare that complaint, then they will take it to a judge who will issue a warrant on that felony case. If you think you might be the subject of a police investigation, or if you have any more questions about what happens during the course of a police investigation, either comment below or reach out to us directly. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in today. We're gonna to be back soon with more videos. Thanks.